Justin Contox Y Combinator, new shape shifting material created, rack space is going private, and more. It's Friday, August 26th, and this is Crunch Report. Welcome to the Crunch Report. It's Friday, and boy, do we got a special treat for you. He's an entrepreneur, angel investor, YC partner, LaCroix drinker, stationary bike rider, Snapchat man, the con of cons. Yeah, we got ourselves Justin Con to discuss the latest batch of companies at Y Combinator. Let's hang out with him. Boom. Justin, what's up, man? That was elegant. <laughs> Thank you so much. Good. Pleasure to meet you. It's so great to meet you. Thanks for having me on. I'm so excited. So tell me, YC Demo Days, it was, there were two days earlier this week. How did it go? Yeah, so it was, it was good. It was yeah. good. It's always good. It's down to a well-oiled machine now. We have two days, Monday and Tuesday, of demo days, which are uh, basically pitches. So we do half the companies on each day, and they pitch to an audience of esteemed Silicon Valley investors. How many companies all together? Uh, about 100 this batch. Oh, wow. And then we actually tried a new thing. We did a investor day on Wednesday, where we set up meetings between the companies and the investors based on their preferences, so that uh, you know, everyone could kind of have a chance to actually talk one-on-one -on -one with the companies that they liked. Nice. And then were there any companies that, to you, particularly stood out? I love all my children. They're all your like, babies, no, right? Yeah, but we, I mean, there were some really great uh, moments at Demo Day. Um, some of the ones that I really liked, uh, there's a company called Legalist, uh, started by two young founders, and the present presentation was amazing. I think she did a really good job. Uh, Eva... Basically, her, her presentation, her startup is funding uh, lawsuits on behalf of smaller clients who might not be able to take their lawsuit actually all the way through trial. And the presentation was just like, she did a really good, a great presence. Uh, people were really interested Wait, so in the startup. It's like helping people, Peter Thiel. So it's not like. It's, it's helping people, Peter Thiel. It's not exactly cases. like Peter Thiel. It's, it's more <laughs> business torts where the. Uh, customer is a small customer, like let's say someone is suing a, a company for non-payment, right? Okay. Like, like let's say one of these business, small businesses that's been screwed by Donald Trump mm -hmm. doesn't have the money to take their lawsuit to like actually yeah. get paid for work that they did. That would be an example of a case that they would they would um, that's admirable. They would you know help fund. So, Justin TV, and then Twitch, Social Cam, Y Combinator, and I have a little bit of a break. I'm I'm guessing, but you don't ever really truly have a break. What's next? <laughs> What's, What's next, next, bro? Uh, well, I'm working on a uh, secret video app. In, oh, uh, shit. You heard that here. You heard, you heard that here. <laughs> I haven't told anyone else, actually. Yeah, so, so we're working on a video app. Hopefully, we'll be testing it next week and maybe release within a month or two, depending on how well it, how well it works. Yeah. Um, I'm hesitant let me, to say let me get my, Let me try it. Let me beta that. I'll show, I'll show it to you. I'll show it to you after. Oh, exclusive. <laughs> All right, man. Oh. Thank you so much. Pleasure meeting you. Dude, it's Great so good card. to be here. Um, bye. <laughs> Goodbye. Awesome talking to Justin. He's a real person, genuine. I've only seen him on Snapchat, so I wasn't sure. No, no, but he's cool, though. That was just a part of the interview. There was a lot more to the interview that I'll have up where we delve into other topics like Snapchat and other interesting companies. Speaking of Snapchat, follow him on there if you have a moment. He leads a pretty interesting life. Justin Khan is his handle. The tech and business world is competitive, and we have to do what we can to keep talent. The U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, an office under the Department of Homeland Security, put forward a proposal today that would allow the U.S. government to offer parole, temporary permission to be in the country to foreign entrepreneurs starting their businesses in the United States. The proposal specifies that a founder can qualify if they started a company in the U.S. in the last three years and meet investor, founder, and company criteria. A combined research team from MIT and SUTD have created a material that can have two different states, one at a high temperature and one at a low temperature. I know what you're thinking. Yo, Tito, water can have three states. What's so cool about this tech? Well, the materials are created using 3D printing, where the high temperature state is printed onto a liquid resin using light from a projector. This allows researchers to design the two states, kind of like if said water froze when it was warmed or melted in the freezer.
The new tech has applications in pharmaceuticals for drug delivery if researchers can dial in the temperature reactions just right. Next up, cars on cars on cars on cars. First up, Baidu's new modified Cherry EQ all-electric test vehicle is going to be unleashed onto the streets of China to collect data about local traffic infrastructure to support mapping technology. Tiny wheels and all. Next, Volkswagen's 2019 electric car is said to be able to travel 300 miles on a 15-minute charge while costing less than traditional fuel-burning cars. Unfortunately, it's unlikely that specialty charging stations will be widespread enough by 2019 to bring the rapid charging to everyone. Finally, Spiri's Danish on-demand carpooling service is planning to hit the roads in 2017 with a custom-designed electric vehicle. The service will be free for customers that are willing to drive the vehicles while picking up some passengers along the way and dropping them off en route to their destination. Here's some quick news. Rackspace, which is still best known as a hosting company, even as it has expanded aggressively into offering services for businesses that use other platforms, went public in 2008. Now, however, it's going private again after accepting a $4.3 billion offer or $32 per share in cash from private equity firm Apollo Global Management. The deal still is subject to regulatory approval and is expected to close in the last quarter of this year. That's the report for today. I'm Tito Hamzy. Crunch Report airs every weekday at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on TechCrunch.com. You can also find us on iTunes and on YouTube. And I love you all. And I love you all. And JoJo. And bye. Amazing. Please put that one in. Put that one in. Put that one in. That was it. One shot, one take, one kill. That was amazing.